and what you see on the screen now is the SLH up to 1600 cc event being lined up we have Pasindu Piris, Janaka Dias, Shashika Lakmal, Sanjay Sejar Sanurath, Sajad Zuhair, Ashan Silva and Upulwan Seru Singha competing in this SLH 1600 event once again another popular event well in the starting position one we have Ashan Silva and in the second place we have uh, Pasindu Piris and in the third starting position we have Janak Dias uh, where Sajad Zuhair is in the fourth starting position and in the fifth starting position we have Upeka that's Ashan Silva yes that's Ashan Silva 74 Ashan Silva on the Honda Civic 1600 CC Ashan is the only driver who got three pole positions at this Wallaby Supercross he was pole uh, in three of his events well in the second starting position we have uh, Sajad Zuer that's a thumbs up from Sajad well this is going to be an equally competent race uh, much similar to uh, the supercar event well you get uh, well experienced drivers uh, all together six uh, in the grids of course possible periods also uh, is taking part uh, that's what i heard right now that's it this is uh, pasundu it's uh, number two pasundu periods on the honda er 4600 cc and he's in the fourth starting position six cars in the grid i'm sure this uh, when you look at the list of the competitors of course uh, they're equally competent very well experienced well, number 12 in the fifth starting position is Tashika Lakmal on a Honda EG6 well this has become a very famous event uh, in uh, almost all the uh, racing car events uh, in Sri Lanka and I'm sure it's it's a thrilling event and uh, the, the, all the spectators uh, will definitely enjoy this race as well We have 14 motor cars, Group SLH up to 1600 cc. This event uh, has six laps, 1.6 into uh, six. I beg your pardon, 1.6 into eight laps. Well, passing through with the competitor number two, competitor number 11, Zanaka Dias, number 12, Shashika Lakmal, number 19, Sanjay Sad. Sedara Senrat, number 60, Sajad Suhair, number 74, Ashan Silva, and number 90, Pulvan Sera Singha. But there are only six cars uh, on the grids. Ashan Silva has obtained uh, the best timing 56.258 seconds per lap. Just imagine the speed, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Less than one minute to complete a lap of 1.6 kilometers. Just imagine the speed of these machines, 1,600 cc. And the track is uh, very well seasoned. If you see the uh, sunshine, of course, uh, has uh, been covered by the dark clouds. Let's all hope and pray that the rain will not fall once again. Uh, we had to uh, abandon the race halfway. And luckily, the the clouds, rainy clouds, along with the rain, drifted. The crowd is... Uh, we have a massive crowd here, covering uh, the whole region at the Craftsman's Autodrome, Wallave Supercross, organized by the Sri Lanka Army Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. There are a few names that we should not forget. Brigadier Ravi Mayadune, he himself being a pioneer racer, and also the president, president of Sri Lanka Army, Motorsports. You can see the crowd enjoying uh, the event. It's full of entertainment here, ladies and gentlemen. Those who are watching uh, TV. Well, the ground is even better. You can see the number of spectators increasing. Uh, I think uh, somewhere around 50,000. What do you think? See people from the trees too. It's a beautiful track here. 1.6 kilometer track, motor track, and uh, 1.4 motorcycle track. And the visibility, the visibility is excellent from every place uh, around the track. That is why all the spectators they did not leave the grounds amidst the uh, heavy rains. And even uh, wherever you are, you can uh, get a good look at the track. Uh, and uh, that's uh, that's uh, I think it's a specialty of uh, 
the seven agalak craftsman or a draw exactly it's it's uh, the track is running on the same contour it seems uh, and also the other beautiful thing is it's a clockwise track and also the width is more than enough and it's a winding track also you need a lot of skills the power of the machine and also you need a lot of experience and a bit of luck to win uh, in this uh, track well it's the uh, i think the most junior track as far as sri lanka army motorsports is concerned but we are very much appreciating the contribution of the corporates who have uh, stepped forward to support this type of mammoth events of course sri lanka army has offered them uh, for organizing mammoth events of this nature loving the sports enthusiasts of the ground itself from this area to take part in the event the motor cars group shl is about to start and uh, it consists of uh, eight laps uh, Motorcars Group SLH up to 1,600cc. Well, we have with us uh, Shehan uh, on uh, expert commentary, Shehan Ditisera. Well, he himself being a race driver for over the last 12 years, he has a lot of experience in the gravel tracks. Well, uh, Shehan, uh, how do you describe the track and the, the performance? Well, as you said, the track is a junior track for on the on the gravel circuit, and uh, it'll take some maybe another year or so for the track to settle down. And this is the second event which is run, and there was a couple of extensions and modifications done to the track. So, looking at all that and uh, a track being very tight, it's more or less. On, or if you take the Nissan March event or the SLN up to thousand event, it's more or less a second gear event. It's just one one place that you hit on to third gear. So it's very tight. It's a very tight and twisty track. Uh, but I'm 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 made to understand that there are more developments coming through. Okay, that's the fantastic start of uh, the Motorcars Group SLH up to 1,600cc. You can see Ashan De Silva taking the lead. Where Pasindo Fear is uh, being uh, followed. So just here is it. From starting from fourth grade, and he's ended up at third place. This is a very, very popular event once again, and Ashan Silva is in the lead. See when Ashan, see when Ashan De Silva will take the advantage of, uh, of starting first. Uh, That's right. Ashan had the advantage of having the pole position, and I'm sure Ashan will not make a mistake what he did at the SLH 2500 event, where he opened the door a little bit and possibly took advantage of that. So Ashan is driving very defensively. Going a little bit wide there and kicking up a lot of dust. Ashan Silva in the first place and in the second place, Pasin the is uh, and in third, the Sata And you can see the dust uh, being uh, going into the thin air even after a heavy rain of five and a half hours. Asan Silla was to be in Sajar Sue, Namat Spirigare Tawa Taragisawa, Ekta Sai Jesuit and Tawi Taragisawi, but a very bad idea. Asan Silla, Ye Kalagana, and Abaka Totabadavaka, and the Dini Yoka, was to be in Sajar Sue, and the Dini Yoka, 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 and the Dini Asan Silla, Asan Silla, Basun Biris, Asan Silla, Mekni Hordis. Well, it, uh, the race has uh, eight laps. I'm sure the uh, drivers are really enjoying this uh, track because uh, you can speed up to 150 to 160 and uh, you have to come down to the first gear when you negotiate the uh, bends and the other obstacles. It's, you can see the car, the tail is uh, flying off and then back to the track. Uh, you need a lot of skills on this. Is, uh, not full-time four-wheel drivers, not like supercars, but you need a lot of skills. You have to maintain speed, consistency, you have to focus, and one slight mistake that you make, they are out of the track corner, you will lose the, your, your position. And it's also, luck plays a vital role in, in this uh, motorsport always. One little mistake will cost a lot for them, and uh, 
Well, you can see Ashan Silva capitalizing on the advantage of starting first, and uh, we have Basilo Pires in the second place. If you look at the track very closely, you can see a line which is formed in the racing line the computers have taken. So if you go slightly out of the racing line, that means you are going to lose travel, which limits you to the traction. So that is what happens to Basil when he tends to go or not even any other any other competitor. The, you can see a polished surface that is the racing line. We have four, four laps to go now out of the, uh, the eight laps uh, on this race. Of course, uh, it's going to be, you can see uh, the race leader is still well, in the previous uh, supercar event, uh, we saw Vasil Dupiris uh, leading the way and Ashan Silva following up. And now, uh, here in the Motocast Group SLH up to 1600, Ashan Silva is uh, leading the group. Well, uh, Vasil Dupiris uh, not full suit just to grab the first position. Well, luckily, uh, they're maintaining their consistency and the gap correctly. So, Ashan Silva leading the race, Pastor is right behind him and maintaining, Ashan is maintaining a very good gap. You can see those uh, goosenecks or the uh, gap events which are very difficult to negotiate. You have to come down to the first gear and then you'll have to uh, take the speed, increase the speed and the acceleration and the dust is coming up slowly. Well, well of course you can imagine the condition of those uh, roaring engines and the tires, of course, the driver only feels it. Of course, we get the different impact, the dust and the heat and uh, the noise of those uh, rolling engines. I'm sure that the real different impact is felt by the uh, driver himself. It's not easy. It's lovely to watch board racing and it's also very dangerous. The moment you make the slightest mistake, of course, you are in danger. We can see a lot of people all around. No one has left the ground. They really, they are really into the race. Actually, uh, they have uh, started to quickly uh, approach the track as well. Well, it is very dangerous. It is what the people should understand. The spectators, of course, uh, those who are really into the racers, what the tendency is to get closer to the track. It's also very dangerous. You never know at the speed of 150 to 160, maybe it's 180. At that speed, one millisecond mistake, slight mistake. Will, will get the car out of the track which is really dangerous we true that we have all the protections all the reinforcements for the buns are being made but you never know especially uh, when it comes to the uh, the outer lines out of or the uh, outer line of the track bends when you negotiate of course you see the tail goes and hits the bun and you see the mud and the sand and the uh, soil goes out flies out of the track so spectators should be very very careful Moving on to the final lap and Ashan Silva is leading and you can see the clouds of dust blowing into air and uh, Sazad uh, Basitabir is, uh, is uh, trying to catch up with uh, Ashan Silva and uh, you can see uh, Ashan Silva maintaining a huge uh, considerable distance between uh, second and first places. Well Ashan is very comfortable it seems possible uh, he's not giving much challenge to uh, Ashan. Yeah, that's right. I think Basu has, uh, I can't say given up, but Basu has eased off and Basu is maintaining it. I think he would be happy with his second place at the moment, looking at the laps. And uh, his team manages the uh, communication with him and they would have obviously to uh, maintain his place instead of uh, going and uh, trying trying anything. But that, and that's a chance to take in the second place. Well, well, 
Sridhar Ashan Silva and he has got Subiris. I'm sure he's uh, reserving his energy for the next uh, SLG D3 Top 5 that's the uh, event, Supercar event. Yeah, that's Ashan Silva acknowledging the applause of the crowd. Ashan Silva on the victory round. And here are the results. Asan Silva in the first place, number two, Fast Nupiris, and then in the third position, Sajad Suhail. That's right. So third and second and third place goes to Easy Team. Uh, the first win, apart from uh, Pasidu's SLGT win for the Team Easy. I'm sure Ashan will be happy man by uh, after winning this race and had a disappointing SLN thousand event, of course. Well, of course, uh, now I think that in a tie, when you uh, look at the overall uh, championship, when they come to the judgment of the uh, best driver.